The Ducks off to their best Pac-10 start in eight years. They get Washington. This is your preview. Good to see you. I'm Lauren Shahadi. As always, Dennis Dodd, our college football columnist, here on hand to talk about the matchup. Dennis, let's start under center with Jeremiah Masoli. He didn't play against UCLA. What's the very latest with him? Uh, still day-to-day -day with the foot. Uh, they went with Nate Costa last week and really dumbed down the offense, um, trying to get by against a very defensive-minded UCLA squad, but if he goes, it, it, it gives him a much better chance. I still think they can win this game with Nate Costa. Well, he wasn't as effective, a, a lot less effective. Does their game plan change at all? Oh, yeah. I mean, Nate Costa only threw for 82 yards against UCLA. I think you'll see a lot more handoffs, uh, a lot more short passes, just trying to get him by. He's not the athlete or the runner that Jeremiah Masoli is, and who knows what kind of shape Jeremiah Masoli will be in if he does play with the, uh, with the foot. So we will see. Well, the Huskies have one of the best quarterbacks in the conference, a quarterback that Chip Kelly says he has our full attention. Does he have yours? Yes, best quarterback in the Pac-10, uh, Jake Locker, is a name you hear when you hear uh, you know, Sam Bradford and some of these quarterbacks coming out maybe in the draft next year. He's, you know, depending on what service you subscribe to, maybe the top quarterback available. Leading the Pac-10 in passing, 1,700 yards. 11 touchdowns, uh, you know, Steve Sarkeesian, the Washington coach, is, is, if anything, a quarterback guru. And he has really let this kid, uh, let this kid go free. He's fantastic talent. Well, we've talked about this before, Dennis, but Oregon really turned it on since that game against Boise State. Can they give USC a run in the conference? Well, we'll know in a week. Uh, they play, they host USC on Halloween, October 31st. Uh, I don't think it's a night game, so we'll, we'll see. But, uh, yeah, I mean, that's a huge game. That is, you know, does the tide of the Pac-10 turn and does the championship, you know, outlook change uh, in the BCS after that? Because Oregon is still on the outside, USC kind of on the fringes too. But, yeah, after seven years of, uh, of USC dominating this conference, we shall see. But they have to get past this game. This is a, a classic trap game for Oregon. Well, speaking of USC, their only loss was, was against this up-and-coming Husky team. Can Washington pull another upset this weekend? Well, I, I think they can. They, they've won three in a row in Seattle, they, although they haven't won since that upset to, uh, to USC. They're very, very tough at home. They're going to have a big crowd. That's one of the biggest pits, if you will, in, in the West out there in, uh, in Husky Stadium. So they have a heck of a chance, yes. 3.30 p.m. Saturday is game time. Thanks for watching the preview, of course. Brought to you by Tyson Anytizers, the meaty good man snack for Dennis Dodd. I'm Lauren Shahadi. We'll talk soon.